Chapter 11. Heaven Mending Sect. Collecting the twelve cities at the same time, Guhai went to the major cities, non-stop to pacify the people. In the blink of an eye, there was already the last city, Heaven Mending City. After Guhai pacified the people, although it was not so much that the people were incomparably yearning for Great Hon, but at least they no longer rejected the Great Hon dynasty. The remaining grace of Wang Fu Chouj hasn't faded yet. Coupled with Gu Hai's universal welfare, the people recognized it for the time being. On top of the floating island of Mending Heaven City's City Lord's Mansion, Gu Hai stood at the edge of the floating island, his hand on the railing, looking at the city in the distance that the people had recognized, letting out a long breath, a hint of a smile on his face. Behind him stood the Mending Heaven City Lord, and Tang Chu, your majesty, the cities and pools have been pacified and finished, should we return to the court? Mr. Shangwen has sent word that the great brightness king god has arrived, Tang Chu respectfully said, nodding his head. He was about to speak, when abruptly, Gu Hai's eyes widened beyond enormous. His eyes were instantly covered in blood, and a large number of veins suddenly appeared above his hands, that were holding on to the railing. But see, there is a team of immortal crane car in the distance, in the City Lord residence floating island, not far away from the fly past. The leader of a white-haired boy old man, a face of the spirit of the wind. Seeing that white-haired childish old man, Gu Hai's breathing suddenly shortened. Your Majesty, what's wrong? Tang Chu said suspiciously. Mending Heaven City Lord, who is he? Gu Hai steeply looked at the heaven-mending city lord with icy cold eyes, his tone filled with chilling killing intent. Plop! The heaven-mending city lord suddenly knelt down. Your majesty forgive me. I, I, I deserve to die. I shouldn't have been spooked. The heaven-mending city lord was horrified. HMM, Gu Hai was slightly stunned. Your majesty, in the past, there is no death penalty in the Divine Foothills Imperial Dynasty. It's just that there were some ten evils and unforgivable people with unforgivable sins. Incarcerating them was really a waste of the city's military power. So, that's why we sold them to the Heaven Mending Sect. A short while ago, we were rescued, our officials were reinstated, and we restored the laws of yesteryear. But, there were a lot of officials down there who wanted to follow the habits of yesteryear and continue to sell the evil people to the heaven-mending sect. So, only, only, only. The heaven-mending city lord panicked and said, Oh, heaven-mending sect. Selling ten evil prisoners to the heaven-mending sect. Guhai revealed a hint of doubt. Ah, your majesty. You didn't know originally. The heaven-mending city face immediately changed. Your Majesty didn't know about this. Why did you have such a terrifying expression just now? Scared me into saying everything. The Heaven Mending City who wanted to cry without tears. Tang Chu, however, looked towards the back of that immortal crane vehicle. And sure enough, there was a single cage, the outside of which was covered with a giant cloth. What they're dragging behind the immortal crane carriage of the ten unforgivable prisoners, Tang Chu said doubtfully. Yes, the heaven-repairing city lord cried without tears. He himself was asking for it. Prisoners of ten evils, sold to the heaven-mending sect. Is this your reckless disregard for the law? You can't absolve yourselves of the blame, as they let the criminals go and hurt the heavens again, Tang Chu said in a cold voice. No, Lord Tang is mistaken. We have an agreement with the heaven-mending sect. The prisoners are sold to them, and then, after a while, they send the bodies. Not a single criminal was given a chance to escape. The city lord immediately explained. Oh, Tang Chu frowned. The heaven-repairing sect has opened a large casino, using criminals of ten evils to tear through the Colosseum, letting gamblers take part in the betting, and in the end, when the criminals died, they would send the criminals' corpses back to us. We also got rid of a worry, and in all these years, there has never been a problem. The Heaven Mending Sect also buys prisoners in other cities. The City Lord immediately explained. Oh, a Colosseum. 
gambling. Tang Chu looked at Gu Hai in a slight daze. This wasn't unfamiliar. In the past, the Nine Five Islands Dafeng Ang did this. The difference was that the Dafeng Ang's villains weren't real, while the Heaven Mending Sex villains were all real. I am asking you, that old thing with white hair, who is it? Gu Hai, however, coldly looked at the city lord. He, he's the Heaven Mending Sex Patriarch, Hu Dongshan. The city lord immediately said, Oh, Heaven Mending Sect, Patriarch, Gu Hai raised an eyebrow. Knowing who this person was, Gu Hai wasn't afraid of him running away. In the distance, the immortal crane was carrying Hu Dongshan and the others slowly flying towards the city gates. Heaven Mending Sect. What's going on with the Heaven Mending Sect? Gu Hai looked towards the city lord. Heaven Mending Sect. In the past, at its peak, the legend reached the point of the middle sect. Just a generation is not as good as a generation, and then fell to the bottom of the lower sect. Before the establishment of the Divine Foothills Imperial Dynasty, it was even more depressed to the point of only controlling a city. That is, we are in this heaven-mending city, and later, after the establishment of the Divine Foothills Imperial Dynasty, this last heaven-mending city was also thrown away, but just outside of the city, in a place of mountains and forests Wongshu, opened a mountain gate, uh, opened a big casino only, to be precise. Nowadays, it is at the border of my great Han dynasty and great Yuan imperial dynasty. The city lord immediately explained, the heaven-mending sect, patriarch, is weak to this extent now, Guhai said in a deep voice. Well, however, this heaven-mending sect, Patriarch Hu Dongshan, has a special instinct that allows him to mend magic treasures. Whoever's magic treasure is broken can look for him to repair it. And after he repairs it, it's almost no different from the original magic treasure. So, it's quite a good friendship with the various city lords, such as us. And no one looks for trouble from him, when he opens a casino outside the city. The city lord explained. Gu Hai's eyes narrowed slightly as he watched the distant immortal crane car gradually fly away and disappear in the direction of the city gates. This time, the changes within the city, who Don Genius personally came to pick up the ten evils and unforgivable people. Your majesty don't worry. I absolutely did not sell a good person by mistake. Every one of them is ten evils and unforgivable. All of them have been recorded. The city lord immediately stated. All right, get up. Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Yes, the city lord still looked at Gu Hai in fear. Tang Chu, immediately send a message that all the idle, foothill stoners, all of them come to Mending Heaven City to gather. Gu Hai looked towards Tang Chu and said. Yes, although Tang Chu didn't know what was going on, he still answered. Heaven Mending City Lord. Gu Hai looked towards the Heaven Mending City Lord. In. There are capital offenses in the Great Han Dynasty, so I cannot pursue you for your previous dereliction of duty. But, I don't want there to be a next time, Gu Hai said coldly. Yes, I know the offense. Thank you, Your Majesty. The City Lord immediately said gratefully. Go get me all the information on the Heaven Mending sect. I need all of it, Gu Hai said in a deep voice. Yes, the city lord answered. The two left, leaving Gu Hai standing at the railing of the floating island alone, monstrous hatred flashing in his eyes. The railing under his hand, however, had been crushed by Gu Hai. After taking several deep breaths, Gu Hai completely suppressed the fire in his heart. Gu Hai's face showed a grimace. She on air, after more than ten years, your enemy, I finally found one. Although this Hu Dongshan was the most inconspicuous one among that group of people at that time. But with him I can find the others. Don't even think of running away. Don't even think of running away, my Xian Air. Are you guiding me in heaven? Gu Hai's looked at the sky. His eyes gradually reddened. Five days later, Gu Hai brought Tang Chu to the heaven mending sect. Entering the gambling area, he looked at the shouting around the arena. Just like the Great Abundance Gang in the past, 
The Colosseum carried out gambling, and cultivators from the four directions of the city all came here to spend money. Your Majesty, the strength of this heaven-mending sect amongst the lower sects is also extremely lustrate, and over the sect there isn't even a bit of chi luck. Even according to the information, this Udongshan's cultivation just crossed into the Yuanying realm less than 50 years. But, generations of heaven-mending patriarchs have been experts in repairing magic treasures. Tang Chu looked around and shouted in doubt. Gu Hai also frowned slightly, just entered the Yuanying realm, but let that big shot not follow, willing to stay here and open a small casino. Here, at this moment, the battle in the arena had come to an end. In the twinkling of an eye a villain was defeated, but did not die. The battle was over, ready to move on to the next one. Your Majesty, in the past few days when we went through the dossier, the villains in the Colosseum who died were all very bizarre. All of them were pierced through the heart with a sword, Tang Chu said suspiciously. I have also seen that it should be the end of the fight by another person to kill the villains. But I can't figure it out. Don't think if you can't understand, you'll know soon enough. Start setting up the formation. Give me a full siege of the heaven-mending sect. Not a single one of them will be able to leave, Gu Hai coldly said. Yes, Tang Chu answered. A large number of great Han Dynasty elites quickly followed Gu Hai's request and filled in the spirit stones. No matter how strange the heaven-mending sect looked, however, Gu Hai was still very careful and cautious. Half a day later, boom! In the four directions of the heaven-mending sect, a great fog rose steeply. Hey, what's going on? Hu Dongshan, what are you doing? Why is the fog rising to the sky? Is this a big formation? The surrounding gamblers abruptly shrieked in alarm as their faces changed. The disciples of the heaven-mending sect were also in a sudden burst of panic, shouting towards the sect, Patriarch, Patriarch, it's bad. Some cultivators were about to break through the big formation, but after sparing a turn in the formation, they circled back. Who? Come out. A shout went up from all around. Outside, Gu Hai looked at the large formation in front of him, and a trace of ice coldness flashed in his eyes. People inside listen, who Dongshan of the Heaven Mending Sect violated the national law of the Great Han Dynasty. Today, we are here to rest Hu Dongshan. It's none of other people's business. Don't move rashly. We'll let you all leave later. Please go. Operate with us. Anyone who dares to move rashly will be considered as an accomplice to be treated as a fellow offender. Tang Chu's voice steeply transmitted into the large formation, arresting Hu Dongshans, breaking the Great Han Dynasty's national law. The anxious cultivators slowly calmed down, cooperating. They no longer moved in a paranoid manner. After a while, only then did Hu Dongshan's shrieking voice come from the Mending Heaven sect. I don't know which lord of the Great Han Dynasty it is, my humble self. Hu Dongshan didn't violate the Great Han Dynasty's national law R. I also have friendship with the Mending Heaven City Lord. Please be clear about it, my Lord. Your Majesty. He's talking nonsense. I don't know him well. The Heaven Mending City Lord said bitterly. It's none of your business. Gu Hai shook his head. Whether there is a crime or not, this official will thoroughly investigate. Patriarch Hu. Are you going to tie your hands and come with us? Or are you going to wait for us to come and arrest you? Tang Chu's voice once again travelled into the large formation. At this moment, Gu Hai had already set up a heavenly dragnet, so he thought that this Hu Dongshan would not be able to run away. Inside the heaven-mending sect, on top of a square, Hu Dongshan's eyes narrowed slightly, his face gradually becoming gloomy. 